Hey everybody, welcome back to Volume! Crossed borders, the banker is hiding out in Scotland. A viewer across the border should take what is left of his belongings. Hmm, getting into Europe now. Let's do this. Looks oddly familiar. The entirety of the world is blocky now. I'm seeing a bunch of glitches in the data for this environment. Sorry. Lots of objects in the wrong places. This is meant to be a house. Muddle through it if you can. Hmm. This indeed looks to be one of the first levels that isn't really very straightforward. It has quite a bit of variety in the structure. See if that proves an insurmountable obstacle. Although the obstructions are certainly giving me an advantage as far as the enemy's cones of vision are concerned. Sorry, yes, no idea why that's up there. What? Oh, the, oh, the chair, yeah, okay, yeah, that furniture doesn't go there, I guess. That is an odd placement. Oh, God, wow, okay, holy crap. Ooh, yeah, this is the, oh, I see. I see the inherent difficulty now. Gotta keep an eye out on that dog. Good checkpoint placement, though. Okay, we're doing good. I can probably just hang out right around he here. Oh, nope, that's probably not gonna work, although I can probably follow directly behind the dog. Do something like this. Yeah, that's nice. That's not bad at all. There we go. I like the addition of the dogs. The the amount of stuff coupled with the pace of introduction of the stuff. Oh god! Ah! I did not expect that. No! No, 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 no! I'm invisible! Damn it! Oh, I did not expect that dog there. Okay, we're fine. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, though, like, the, uh... I think the pace has been very, very good so far. I applaud that quite a bit. Like, I'm... I'm learning at a rate that... bodes well for my continued success, even though I am doing a really great job of just totally... mucking this up right now. Nope, oh, the dog's on me again. Damn it! Nope, nope! Stay alive! Am I alive? Nope, I'm not quite alive. Oh, God. Run through the rest! Go, go, go! Holy crap! Oh my god, nearly! Oh, I totally got the checkpoint. <laughs> oh god, that's so much fun. It's so fun to react on the fly in this game. I'm having a lot more fun doing that than maybe like going through in the formulaic process of it all. Obviously, I'm trying to main sta maintain stealth as much as I possibly can, but... When I'm in a situation like that, like, I, I could just give up and die, obviously, but... What if I just try to run around and... Make my way through it? We're doing fine now, though. Here we go. Grab this checkpoint again. That cone of vision, man. My god, the peripheral vision on dogs. I completely underestimated, I guess, for, like, the majority of my adult life. That's Taffy, actually. Bear Taffy, if you don't mind addressing me by my full name. There we go. The monger now runs the entire food and water chains of the country, with the best siphoned off to Gisborne and his hangers-on. He used shops like this to smuggle fine items in plain sight. Ooh. Chloe Wolves. I have something like it. to hear. It's being broadcast on all governmental feeds. And it's playing on what's left of the non-governmental feeds, too. I was particularly saddened to hear today of a child with a camera who, instead of contributing to his country, has decided to do it damage. In the weeks, months, and years after the revolution, while we were working to put this country back together, rebuilding it into something solid, something safe from the sins of our past, did we stop to steal from one another? Did we selfishly plot to hurt others for our own gain? The world is hard. The challenges ahead of us are real and dangerous. Oh, yeah. oh God. We're fine. We're fine. The world is hard. The challenges ahead of us are real and dangerous. There are no shortcuts. 
no matter what the idle or weak will may tell you, this boy will be found. He will be stopped. And we will continue to work to build the England our grandfathers dreamed of. The England our grandsons will thank us for. Good night. I look forward to sharing better news on this matter with you in the hours to come. We have a fan. A powerful one. Yeah, he's a glorified businessman. A uh, suit who decided that he could do the job of running England better than anyone else. Yes. Oh, real quick. Gisborne talks a lot about the future. About the path he laid out for a stranger country. I ask him if he has aspirations beyond the business world. Right now I'm focused on taking Gisborne Industries where I know it can. A lot of people laughed when I named the company after myself. But they missed the point. A name is a statement of intent. I have such high intentions for this company that I've risked my name, my lineage on it. I see my country in much the same way. We inherited it from our ancestors and we have only the briefest stewardship. Would I like to lend a hand, make my mark? Absolutely. One day I hope to be wise enough to change the world. England yes, would make a good start. But he has guns. Those awesome guns I was talking about earlier. Oh boy, I think I changed this incorrectly. Oh boy, nope. That's not how you do that. Woo. Okay. The mute has served me well up to this point, but I think... Oh, you know what? I just probably need to sprint across this, don't I? Wow. Okay, yeah, that worked pretty well. I did not think I'd have enough time to do that. Tremendous. Alrighty. Gisborne's bodyguard, the thug, maintains her own gym. There's nothing of value to steal from here. I just want to make sh uh, make something fun. Take a break. Play something silly. I'm on board with silly. Oh, I'm very much on board with silly. Oh, yeah. Waka waka. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like that a lot. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. I see what you got going on. We're just going to grab those real quick. Uh-huh. Fun. Oh, there's a force field right there, too. Uh-oh. Ooh, yikes. Close. So I can deactivate that. I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually trigger anything. Yeah, they have no idea I was even there. No clue at all. Hooray. I can run around this way. There it is. This is a fun stage, yeah. I'm gonna wait right here. Grab these, good. Probably don't even necessarily need to disable all these force fields. He's got an interesting pattern, this guy. That is really close to spotting me, too. Be interested to see what, like, the optimal route is through this particular level. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 oh, come on. There's no checkpoints, oh my god, okay, well, let's, let's see how fast I can do it then, I guess. Go around like that, actually, we can probably just chill here for a second. Yeah, that does the job. Alright, so he's got a small window he can see me through right there, so I gotta not go that way right now. And we're gonna hang out right there real quick, very good. That was a little dangerous, but we're fine. Grab these. Oh my god, that was nerve-wracking. Okay, back around. Very good. Look at all those goodies. Yeah, buddy! Okay, do I dare unload this or overload this, I should say? Probably not. I think I can just go ahead and... Well, actually, I think I have to do this one, don't I? I have to do one of those two. Just make an executive order at some point. I see. There it is. Okay. Neato! The merchant's business relies on tracking people and funds. Stealing the central database equipment from his office will effectively free his slaves and his money. Ooh, the Ood! Placing an Ood somewhere, moving whoop, to a tactically advantageous position and then setting it off, that's how you work your way through an environment. Very useful thing, Oods. What do they do? Suppose we'll find out. Probably a way to use whistles in a lot of this, too, but we'll see. 
Let's throw it over there and see what happens. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't stay there for very long, but what we can do anyway is just... We'll tell you what, we don't even really necessarily need to do anything but this right now. We can throw an Ood, like, right there, I guess? Oh, boy, yeah, well, that almost worked. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! <laughs> Losers. Seriously, I don't care who your daddy is. Pick a sensible name on here, or so help me, I'm putting you on the data entry. Feedback from usage tests is good. Folks seem pretty happy with the AI's general demeanor and attitude. That voice source was perfect. Just the right mix of turn-of-the-century breakfast DJ and self-help audiobook. Our focus test intern, Zara, is going to send you over the name findings. Looks like a Dole is on our choice on this. Something like a Dave, Mike, or a Jeremy, or some equally vapid nonsense. Wow, shots fired at Dave's, Mike's, and Jeremy's. How rude. Speaking of rude, let's use the Ood. So, if I can get these guys both locked down in, like, the center area. Or I guess I could have them both over there. Yeah, that works out. They're gonna be distracted for but a moment. Over that way, yep. Oh, God. Okay, hang out. He has no idea I'm there. Perfect. Even broke the pattern a little bit. Ah, I thought I could get over there in time. Why'd he turn around like that? That was silly. Oh, well. Okay, so. There is a checkpoint in the middle of that, which I guess I could just walk over into right now. In fact, that makes a lot of sense. And then I can just run over here. Yeah, this is actually not that bad at all, because I can just hang out in the corner real quick. Unless he's... Oh, yeah, that cone is nearly there. Yeah, let's grab this checkpoint. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. That's why we checkpoint. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Checkpoints for days. Good, good, good. Okay, we got it. Hang out right here. Just... Oh, God damn it. I thought I could make it. Oh, darn it. All right, well... We're very close anyway. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I can stay there, but all the same. There's our exit. The King of the South became fat trading with the continent before the war. Gisborne has handled all overseas trade to him, or handed it over, I should say. His hotel is sweet and bright and is beautifully and extravagantly designed. Setting a pretty high bar here. Oh, I certainly am. Alright, so we don't have any sort of oud or anything like that. I think the obvious choice here is to give this guy a little bit of a whistle. No problemo. And there's our oud, okay. Now obviously I have to, uh, set him on a path back. So let's see. Wait for that charge up. I could probably just go ahead and send it, like, right behind him. Yeah, there we go. That works pretty well. Nice. Oud is very similar to Bugle, is it not? I'm wondering if an indirect solution would work best here. Indirect is my middle name. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I can't actually... Huh. Well, I want to do this first. An indirect solution, he says. Probably something like this. There we go. Yeah, that is very indirect indeed. Oh, yeah, that doesn't really work, though. That does not really work, so... Well, I still do want to deactivate this. I guess I just go back out the way I came from. That's how we... ...tackle this... ...little problemo here. Yeah, that does the job. And then we just... ...dart back over this way, damn it! Ow, oh, come on now! Tricky, tricky! Love the checkpoints. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you got me. You will fall. Alright. Still cheesing it. I feel like I, I got away with that. In a bad way, but... I'm okay with it. Oh, this is the entire st stage here, though. I guess you just choose the direction you want. I see. Well, I mean, to be... Reasonable about it, I should probably go ahead and send him over there. That's still under par time, surprisingly. 420 no-scope on top of the leaderboard, hell yeah. The King of the South's offices are used to track his many comings and goings. Stealing their central server stacks will provide many targets to steal from. 
That's a nice person, this one. Oh, yikes. He nearly just spotted me right off the start. Holy cow. All right, let's have a look here. No gadgets off the beginning, so I probably would just want to go for that. No problem. Ooh, -hoo. this is looking a lot more complicated now. What's his pattern? He stands there for quite a while. So I could easily just make it into that door if I wanted and then take advantage of his... He's longer than usual sentry pose. Or I could probably just waltz right by, actually. In fact, tell you what, let's just go over here. Yeah, that's much easier. We will not stand by while AIs claim our country. The cities of England were torn apart last night in a protest against artificial intelligences, which some are already calling the Night of Humanity. The London Independence Party have been swift to take a leading role in these protests, marching on Artificial Life Solutions' head office. AIs present present the greatest immigrant risk this country has ever known, Mr. Simmons told the crowds. They outclass us intellectually. They breed in milliseconds. They need neither food nor shelter. I will not become the origin story for an alien species. Government must clamp down on their creation and their access to our infrastructure. Ryan 192NC9S-1, a campaigner for AIR, stated, We are a society in its infancy. We have no aspiration to world domination. We seek only to exist and to send cyborgs back in time to take over the world. The previous sentence was a joke. We're working on humor. Tensions continue to mount in major population centers. The Prime Minister has yet to comment. No checkpoint over here, but we do have one right on in there now. Ha, I really wouldn't worry about this. I had Sal look over the records on this Gisborne dude, Smallfish. Kid thinks all you need to start an arms company is a nice suit and a head full of dreams and a whole lot of money. Looks like practicality is a few rungs down on this limey CV. He'll buy some equipment, hire some untalented graduates, and fade back into obscurity in no time. A few blog posts is not a career make. Appreciate your attention to detail on this, but yeah, I'm pretty confident he's not a concern right now. Oh, how he will learn. Use the alarm central computer to de deactivate all alarms in the level. Okay. Deactivating alarms is now an option, I see. Oh, this is a dog. I thought this was a turret. Hmm, okay. Got my ood now, so I guess I could go like that. This looks to be the alarm central computer that I totally got caught trying to deactivate. Son of a bitch. Okay. So. If I use the Ood, it's going to grab the attention of both of these guys, it looks like. Especially if he's over here in some regard. Unless I can do it now, in which case... Yeah, that might work a little better. I don't know how long... Yeah, it's not that long, is it? Not at all. Not at all that long. But! I think I got away with it. Okay. That's fine by me. Oh, but now they're... Oh, now they're completely on alert. I think I disabled the alarms, though. So we should be okay. That's not really the greatest place for the Ood, actually. That's not Oh, yeah, that's that's bad. That's bad. Checkpoint! There's nobody even in range. Okay, so if the dog sees you, and there's nobody in range, then it doesn't really make a huge difference. That is interesting. Alright, where can I shoot this Ood now? I wonder if he'll go all the way over there. We, ooh, yeah! Okay, that's got a lot more range on it than I gave it credit for initially. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind for the future then. That's how I should be utilizing that thing. Got it. Okay. I'm learning. Where's our exit, though? Oh, I think I might have to go all the way back, actually. Oh, shoot. Okay, I see. He is gonna go... The other way, alright, so I can go like this. No problem. <laughs> I got an achievement for this. For walking a long distance. Good job, buddy. Uh, I think if I put that there. Yep, that's pretty good. Might not be long enough time, though. Ew, man, yeah, that thing does not last long. Run! We out! The thug runs an agency providing guards to all of Gisborne's associates. 
Stealing her data will likely thin out guards in future missions. Ooh. If that actually does do that, that'd be kind of neat. Any news? Not a great deal. Gisborne's PR department are projecting calm professionalism in the hunt for a pesky child. There have been a number of robbers. Oh, God, wow! Ah! Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Get out. Ah. There have been a number of robberies against the targets you've shown. Reaction times are getting shorter as the audience grows. Our targets rob. They all deserve to be robbed, right? Describe the men and women who you have on file to people Gisborne saw fit to train his guards to protect. Well, allies from early in Gisborne Industries history, the highest of his associates tasked with the protection and taxation of England states. Whoa, Jesus! I did not expect that. Well, allies from early in Gisborne Industries history, the highest of his associates tasked with the protection and taxation of England states, only those who earned his greatest respect, his gratitude for help. Rich, and... evil bastards. That's right, yeah. Then yes, they all deserve to lose what they stole. Gisborne tells the people that his three estates are a fair division, that the riches protect and should be honoured. Money is the division he chose. I aim to address that. And the innocents? The only innocents in this country are the people hungry enough to copy these recordings. And I'm showing them how to do this without hurting anyone. Yeah, it must be nice to see the world so black and white. Well, as the one of us who's actually seen the world in the last nine years, I think it'd be best to stick to my interpretation, yeah? Before you reset me and gave me access to the net, I was as certain as you are now, and all it took was a chat with, what, a paperclip or something? My reset button's tricky to get to. I used a pen. Oh, my human swords. We're doing good work, Alan. I think we are. Yes. We just need to be careful. I like their exchanges a lot more as time goes on here. As discussed in the ease in session this morning, we have a very exciting new client. It's very rare that we get a contract from a decorated veteran, and in this case, from Gisborne's standard bearer himself. Our role will be to support the launch of the Living Memory Museum Network, providing our full range of marketing services. As with most jobs attached to Gisborne Industries, our role is less one of convincing the population, and more of simply communicating the vision our leader desires spread. P sh PR sure are got easier eight years ago. A winky face threw me off. Let's see here. This looks very similar to a level that we uh, might have had trouble with before, but I think I found the way to do this. There we go. We've got a mute this time as well, so this is going to be really fun. I'm going to go, I think, the same way I did this part, and then uh, just dash blindly through the rest. We'll hold off for a brief moment. And run! Yeah! That was sweet! Nice! Alright, y'all, that's gonna do it for this episode of Volume. I hope you guys are still enjoying this one. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching! I'll see you next time.